Hi everyone, so this video review is for Don't Marry Me at Christmas by Claire Lydon. Um, if you want to check out my review, I have just posted that, so if you're on YouTube there's a link in the description below, and if you're on my blog there's a link in the post. And this is the video review, so Don't Marry Me at Christmas by Claire Lydon. Uh, absolutely brilliant, as to be expected for the Claire Lydon. Claire Lydon's never ever disappoint, especially the Christmas ones, they are always great. Um, Beth turns up in Sarah's life again, uh, only to realise that she's missed her and their friendship, and uh, Sarah just wants to avoid Beth at all costs, and that is just not possible. Um, Beth keeps turning up, and she is trying desperately to apologise and explain what happened in the past, which leads to them spending a bit more time together because fate's again at play. Um, Sarah doesn't really like this, but Christmas magic is definitely in the air. Um, I loved this, and I always do. Claire always delivers a really great romance. It's always packed with the essentials, which is heartfelt moments that really get you. Drama to keep it all exciting. And a pinch of humour just to make sure that you have a good laugh whilst reading it as well. Um, and this late, latest story, it ticks all of those boxes. It is absolutely brilliant. Um, the tension to begin with between <laughs> Sarah and Beth really really keeps Beth on her toes and having to work hard but I admired her she had a lot of will and determination um to to make sure she got her chance to apologize and to do whatever she could to to help Sarah so she was taking responsibility of causing Sarah's heartache and she genuinely wanted to put it right if she could um and she was accepting that that would also probably take time and the fact that she might not be able to as well she was very realistic about it um but it was nice of sarah to give her a chance and she did and it wasn't long before them sort of spending this time together again led to reminiscing and then stirring up all these feelings they'd both tried to forget and i just loved their playful nature they really went well with one another and they were opened up and they were honest about their feelings and what had happened um both as they had you know felt in the past uh or in the moments they were in every point they were trying to be very honest with each other and it was so obvious they belonged together they really were meant for one another and i am glad that beth was getting her second chance with sarah um it was also brilliant how stubborn sarah was about christmas and romantic events and she just didn't like she was like it's not the time of year but how fate was going to show her that her stubbornness was not going to win out and she was going to have to give in and that Christmas had magic and power beyond what she could uh, she could imagine and there was no avoiding it if it was coming for her absolutely loved that and that's that little bit of humor that Claire just gets in there that sense of uh, you can be a strong willed and as stubborn about things as you want but uh, if fate wants you to have something you're gonna have it <laughs> and you're gonna have to sometimes take back your feelings and your thoughts and your words on a subject um, very very relatable but it was brilliantly funny uh, an absolutely uplifting romance with a good sort of feel good theme uh, lots of laughs and a nice festive cheer to bring the romance to Christmas so I really really enjoyed it and hope you will too I'll pop a link in the description so you can grab a copy of Don't Marry Me at Christmas by Claire Lydon which I hope you will if you've read Don't Marry Me at Christmas then please do let me know uh, let us know what you thought of it if you haven't read it yet but you're planning to read it it's on your read list or you're now super intrigued and thinking yep adding that to my Christmas wish list um, then again please do let us know because it's always great to find out what you are interested in reading and if you do read it oh, I hope you have a great time reading it I I always have a brilliant time reading a Claire Lydon story and I always know that I'm going to have a good laugh and it always cheers me up so um, I hope you have the same when you read it and I hope you really enjoy it. Bye!